And it's very easy to see how those false arguments arise. And I think it's very easy to disprove them. But I don't think I would want to say that people who believe it are insane in the same sense as somebody who's actually certified by a psychiatrist is. Some of the, the greatest scientists in history have believed in God. Uh, Isaac Newton not only believed in God, he wrote commentaries on the Bible. Gregor Mendel, uh, the founder of genetics, well, you could was stop a monk. There, I mean, just about there are lots of examples just about of this, and yeah. there are contemporary examples as well of, of, of great scientists who believe in God. They're all delusional. Well, firstly, um, as we were talking about before, um, Darwin made it possible to be an intellectually fulfilled atheist. Uh, Newton and most of the other people you're talking about lived before Darwin. And so I would be vastly surprised if any of them were anything but religious before. But there are decent before. scientists today who believe well, that. Well, we've got to be a little bit careful there. When, when you talk about decent scientists today who are religious, ask them very carefully precisely what it is they believe. I mean, some of them go to church because they like the music. Some of them believe in some sort of pantheistic... Um, spirit of the universe then they, they're using a word like God Einstein was one of these Einstein used the word God a lot and plenty of people think because of that that Einstein was a religious man well he wasn't he certainly I mean, he's most indignant when anybody suggested that Einstein believed in a personal God sure. he, he used again. the term God to name a kind of mystery exactly but there are there are scientists today, and, and one could name a number of them. John Polkinghorne, former professor of mathematical well, always the physics. Same name. Well, let, let's just name yeah. him, though. John Polkinghorne, former professor of mathematical physics at Cambridge, knighted for his contributions to science, a Church of England vicar as well. We're, we're in a Church of England parish church in this Oxford college. Um, he's probably preached in places like this, and you say he's delusional. I don't, I've already withdrawn, I've already um, backed off from using delusional in the sense of being insane. I think he's wrong. I think he's mistaken. Is I, he a lesser scientist for believing in God? No, he's an excellent quantum physicist, and uh, there's no doubt about that. And, and I, when, when I talk to people who have managed to combine religious belief, not just a sort of deism, and not just a belief that there's some sort of great spirit yeah. behind the universe, but in his case, it really is full Church of England. I mean, Jesus died for our sins, etc. Exactly. Um, that I find very hard to understand. I admit that it's true. It's not common, but it's true. Uh, and I can only put it down to a kind of compartmentalization of the mind.